PLC Network here with another unboxing. This time, once again, coming from the company Azul. That's A-Z-U-L-L-E. And this is the follow-up to their Quantum Access, a mini PC, an HDMI-based mini PC that we covered a little bit uh, earlier in the years, late last year, early this year. And uh, it was just an HDMI stick. It plugs into the back of your TV, and it gives you a Windows 10 desktop. And it was a pretty good little uh, mini PC for how small it was. It performed pretty decent. I mean, it wasn't going to rock your world, nah, but it did play, uh, uh, or to give you your, your, the desktop that you need for travel for basic business pleasures, such as browsing the internet, checking your email, working in Microsoft Office, using some basic apps, uh, or, or well, most apps, but basic games and whatnot, and so forth. Uh, as well as a little bit of uh, things like Netflix and YouTube and uh, onboard uh, movies you might have on your micro SD. It was simple. You know, not all videos played. Some videos played great. And um, it's really what you'd expect out of a little HDMI stick that's that small. In fact, wait a minute. Here it is. This is the Quantum Access by Azul. This is the original one we covered, as you can see, based on my hand. It's pretty small, you know, so you can, you know, kind of assume you're not going to get the most powerful computer that your uh, money can buy you, uh, this small in size, but it was quite surprising of, you know, what it actually was capable of. So let's make it even better. This is the Quantum, or actually Quantum, they, they took Quantum off the, the label, it appears. This is the Access Plus, the big brother, the new guy. But the younger brother, kind of younger brother, technically, if you're thinking about age. Anyways, we're going to pop this guy open, and we're going to see what's inside, and uh, we're going to do a little compare and contrast real quick in size, and then you're going to go to the website. So plcnetwork.net or plcinc.net forward slash blog. And uh, we'll brag all about it, good or bad. Uh, so first, let's read a little bit of uh, specs uh, and see what's on the inside. It does have an Intel Atom processor inside. Uh, they advertise right on the front, uh, read uh, your emails, watch some uh, videos, uh, it looks like a little YouTube icon maybe, it's kind of generic, uh, icons it could be anything, <laughs> play, play some games, explore the internet, and connect with friends. So if you got a USB webcam, maybe you can do some Skype with this, but now we're talking cables running all over the place, so that's, you know, anyways, chat, that's really what they're pushing towards. Uh, on the inside you have 2 gigs of DDR3 memory and 32 gigs of storage. I'm going to guess this is going to be, in fact, we just recently, on top of the, the, um, the Access, the Quantum Access, we covered their other mini PC, which was an actual box type solution. Uh, it's smaller than this actual box right in front of me. Uh, and it was a pretty killer little mini PC. And uh, that also had a, a, a Intel Atom processor inside and also had two gigs of memory. I'm thinking that we're probably going to get some similar results between the two of these. This will probably not function as well as that since that one obviously has more space for cool hardware. And this is kind of limited in space. And it still has the two gigs of memory. It probably will perform. They, they, they usually have two, and I believe they do, right? Yeah. Yes, they have two models, uh, two versions of this. You have the two gig version and the four gig version. I'm gonna assume the four gig version is gonna operate just a little bit better than what we get out of this. But my assumptions are we're probably still gonna be pretty surprised. Uh, mostly because these aren't really that expensive. And when you're on the go and you need something simple that's just gonna get you on the internet and doing some of the basics like watching videos, uh, simple videos, no 4K or anything, uh, checking your email, playing small little Windows 10 app based games and things like that, this will probably get you there. Uh, also great for, uh, uh, what do you call it, signage, signage, digital signage, thank you. Digital signage uh, in terms of uh, expos, conventions, and whatnot, where they put little signs outside the doors and, you know, brags about what you can find in that room and or schedule, you know, of the, of the, the show's uh, lesson plan or panels and whatnot, or just advertisements, photos and video, things like that. They typically will throw something in the back of the TV like this, uh, sometimes a Mac Mini, sometimes something like this. It's all over the place, but here's one solution. So moving on, since I do talk a lot, Windows 10 obviously is loaded on this. So you have a full Windows 10 desktop. You have the specific Intel chip is the Cherry Trail T3Z8300. It is a quad core 1.44 gigahertz and has burst speeds of up to 1.84 gigahertz. That's it. Windows, two gigs, 32 gigs of space. 1.44 quad Intel processor inside. So let's see what else is inside. 
Looks like the seal was already broken. Wasn't by us, I swear. Ooh. We have a technology inspired by real people. Get the most out of your Zool product by registering it so we can talk to you about it. And if you have issues, yada, yada, yada. Always good. Uh, we have spoken one-on-one -on -one with Azul a couple times, and they do have excellent communication. So I would assume that their, commu or their community, their customer service, their community service, their customer service is probably uh, quite similar. You have a small little quick guide because it's easy to use. I just ripped it a little bit. Um, it talks about all the various different buttons on it and whatnot, and do you have... Uh, you know, just some, a simple little readout of it says, hey, there's a power adapter in here, your stick, and a HDMI cable. So, moving that right there. You have your power adapter. This is a micro USB to wall adapter, and it's a one piece, so. We have, let's see, uh, what's in the bag? Well, I already kind of mentioned what it is, but you have an HDMI adapter, or well, cable. Uh, basically, you have a stick right here, and it can plug right into the back of your TV. Done. But if you don't want this hanging, because it's got a little weight to it, not too much difference from the, uh, the original Quantum. Uh, just a little bit slightly heavier. If you feel that's too much weight for your TV, you can just kind of take some Velcro, slap it on the back, put this on the back of the TV, use this adapter, which is a female to mill HDMI adapter. This will run around and plug into that HDMI port. That way no, there's no weight tugging on anything. Also adapts it to however, in case your HDMI port is pointing backwards and sit it off to the side and you need to mount the TV on the wall, this gets you that space that you need instead of you know not being able to mount it. So you have your cable and you have the, well, quantum, no longer quantum, but the access Plus by Azul, A-Z-U-L-L-E. And this is the original Axis. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a size difference. Um, the original Axis is about, I'd say, uh, 60 to 70% of the size of this. So it's not exactly twice the size, but it is definitely noticeable. It's quite noticeable. So I'm going to assume that there's going to be an, a quite noticeable upgrade in, in performance as well. This is pretty good for its size, so this should be pretty better. <laughs> um, so we'll just briefly go over what's on the side on the, uh, if you're looking at it at the HDMI side, we'll call it the left side from that point of view. Uh, you have your power button, which is right here. You would press and hold that down until the LED pops on. Of course, it has to be plugged into the HDMI and into the wall um, before that'll work. Uh, this will power on the unit and boot, just like booting up your own computer, because that's what you're doing. It's a power button. It's a computer. Right here, you have a micro USB uh, input. This is going to be for your charger, so it's going to plug right in there. Uh, if I plug it in the right direction there, there we go. You have a, uh, you actually have two USB ports, which is excellent because it's the one thing that this thing was, uh, the original access was. Uh, um, lacking really is it only has one USB port and it's USB 2.0 I believe right there on the side uh, it just didn't seem like it was fast enough for the needs of the mini especially in today's you know market where everything has USB 3.0 for the most part so this has two USB and of course flexibility of more than just one USB port no hub if all you need is two USB ports but you have a USB 2.0 port and you have a USB 3.0 port so that's cool you do have the option of high speed and you also have an option of the backup even though it's just a USB 2.0 that's going to be for accessories mostly for keyboards mice and anything else you want to plug in the USB 3.0 port is going to be for like an external drive like a thumb drive or whatnot where you do want like faster transfer rate and of course, since it only has 32 gigs of space on board, you're probably going to want to put something in there. Uh, not so much USB drive. That's for pretty much, you know, you need to just transfer something really quick and run it to something else as much as on the other side. So in terms of looking straight at the HDMI port on the right side would be where we'd be heading. Uh, there is a small little slot here for a micro uh, SD card. And that's probably what you're going to take advantage of the most because 32 gigs... 
you know, isn't really a lot. If you got a 32 gigabyte uh, uh, capacity smartphone, like one of the newer iPhones or the Androids or the Windows, like the 950 or 950 XL, more than likely, if you're, you know, if you're spending that much money, dishing that much out for a really nice high-end phone like that, you're probably a power user of sorts, and 32 gigs isn't going to be enough. It might get you through for about a half a year or so until you realize all those pictures and videos and MP3s and anything else you put on there are starting to drag you down. So. This will uh, allow you to plug in a micro SD card, throw something in there like 128 gigs or something. That way you got plenty of space for Windows, all your favorite projects and documents and pictures and music and videos and all that. You just throw that right in there and expand that space with. That way you'll have that plus 32 gigs and it'll show up as, you know, as an inserted micro SD card, but you treat it as an expanded hard drive in a way or another partition, uh, you can say. You could use it as mobile, just like uh, the um, the USB ports for a thumb drive. You can just put it in there temporarily just to transfer docs back and forth. It's up to you. And we have our final things on the back. You have Ethernet, which is also something that the Axis, the original Axis had. You have an Ethernet port, uh, so you can have up to uh, a gigabit uh, wired network connected to it, which is pretty cool because there's very few of the HDMI sticks on the market that actually have Ethernet built in. I mean, chances are you're going to want to take advantage of the Wi-Fi. That's important uh, because it's less cables running all over the place. And let's face it, not everybody can run an Ethernet ta uh, cable to their TV so easily. This will get you uh, wireless access to your router, and it's going to be a lot more useful to you. But just in case you need that extra speed boost and you have the luxury of an Ethernet port right behind your TV, say it's mounted on the wall or something, bam, you can do it. And uh, let's see what else we got. We have a laptop lock or a device lock that you can use on this. That way, if you are using it on the back of a TV uh, for display purposes at a convention or anything else, you know, for professional uh, commercial use, you can put a laptop or a device lock on here to make sure nobody just walks up to the TV and goes, yoink, oh my gosh, I just got myself an Access Plus. Whoa, all right. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen, but um, you have a uh, last input right here. You have a headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter. So just in case your TV uh, is having issues uh, with the HDMI in uh, for audio, uh, which you do have to adjust on your TV based on our experience with this bad boy. Uh, when you plug this in, you will have to tell Windows to use your HDMI device as your audio source, as your default playback device. But if you're having any issues and or if you need to use external speakers that aren't directly connected to the TV, you can do analog out using the 3.5 or for whatever weird reason you want to use headphones on your TV. You know, uh, that might be a little bit awkward, but, you know, whatever. You know, you have that option as well. And I don't believe, yep, the original one did not have headphones. Now you have headphones, you have an extra USB port, uh, USB 3.0 now, and it's significantly larger, but also probably... Probably, we haven't tested this out yet, significantly faster. That's an assumption, that's an estimate. So check it out, uh, go to PLC Network or plcinc.net forward slash blog and see what our authors have to say about this because we're gonna tear it apart, we're gonna have fun with it and we're gonna let you know what we think about it. Does it run everything we need it to run? We'll run Netflix, hopefully, YouTube, everything else. Um, you know, maybe we'll play some Call of Duty on it. Probably not. Uh, I, I would highly suggest not trying that because I'm sure this won't won't fare so well, and it'd be an unfair judgment against it. But other things such as, uh, I don't know, uh, Bejeweled, do they still make that one? Uh, Candy Crush, thank you, and other things. Anyways, app games, check it out. plcnetwork.net forward slash blog or plcinc.net forward slash blog. Check out the website, see what we have to say. We'll probably have a story publishing within the next few days. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.